I bet that what you're going to hear today is a series of speeches and poems about people going to a dream place they've always wanted to go to or a place they already have been. Could be near the pyramids of Giza or where we are today. All of them good, of course, but why stick to Earth? Why stay here when there's so much more out there? Hi, my name is Karthik Kumar and I'm going to be talking to you today about why I visit or potentially live in Mars. You may wonder, why there? It's all dry and deserted. And yes, that is one way to look at it. But I prefer to look at it as a new opportunity to start over and right all our wrongs. An opportunity to change pollution, government issues, wars, fighting, poverty, education, and more. If that doesn't interest you, then let me put it this way. You have a blank sheet of paper. This, pa this is your planet. All you have is a permanent marker. You have to draw out your planet and make it as good as you can. But you mess up as we have many times on our beloved Earth. You don't have the option of an undo button or an eraser. You don't even have another sheet of paper to use. The permanent marker, which is all our mistakes, has bled through so you can't use the other side. But when, but then you found out you have a new sheet, sheet of paper and you jump right to the opportunity to use it, and that other sheet of paper is Mars. This paper is a little crumbled up because, but you don't mind, it's your only option, just like Mars being dry and deserted. Now you can fix this paper up with whatever materials you already have. Now that is what I would do. I try to start over, find out ways to make things without pollution, teach people how to resolve things without wars and fighting, make our government more fair so everybody can have a say. I would make a new money system so nobody would have to suffer with poverty. I, would, I can find a new way to teach so it sticks with you, unlike it may here. This isn't just for me. This is for anybody and everybody who can benefit from it. This may sound random, but have you ever wondered why America succeeded even though it only had a short time to prosper? I believe it is because all the mistakes and issues we've had in Europe and Asia and Africa before the colonists moved to America were made again when they started America. Sure, they had the Revolutionary War and made their own new mistakes, but they still made it through and stopped all, most of the wrongs in the other continents. But now we have the chance to right all of those wrongs, not just most of them. And I would take that chance. Also, in Mars, not everything is predictable. Every day is a new experience something we don't have on Earth that often anymore. Sure, there are, say, the underdogs winning in the local football game and a natural disaster hitting a paradise island in Hawaii, but in Mars, it will go beyond any of those. You may think it would be dangerous, but we already know a lot about Mars that to this point, dangerous things are as much as expected as they are on Earth. But new and fascinating things, they're way different. For example, maybe one day, all of a sudden, I have special abilities because of radiation, or I have a special ability to talk to animals and creatures. These, def these may sound far-fetched and odd, but they are definitely more probable in a place like Mars than here on Earth. All things considered, I would really love to visit or even live 
in Mars, because who knows? It may be the greatest thing in human development since our lifespan from changing to 40 years old, as in the Egyptian times, to now, like 70 years old. So we can your time all, is up. Your time is up, just wanted to let you know. Go ahead, go ahead. We all can benefit from such a bold choice. And maybe we can all end up needing to move there. And that is why I would visit Mars.